So in our unit about sorting, I think it's always fun to start with the worst possible sort technique, which is called BOGO sort. So here I've got my array of six values. And the way BOGO sort works is kind of like the way the game of 52 card pickup works, which is you throw all the cards up in the air, then you pick them all up again. So we're going to do that with their array until it's sorted. So I click it and they're randomly moved around and uh, still not in order. So I try it again. Nope, still not in order. Nope, uh, it's closer. Nope, further. Uh, not really close. You know, the zero's in the right spot. That's progress, right? Oh, now it moved. Oh, you know. oh, zero and one. I'm getting close. Uh, now it's further away. And if you're frustrated by this technique, it's because it's really dumb. You should never actually do BOGO sort. In fact, the code you'd have to write to get BOGO sort to work is pretty complicated. So you don't want to even try this technique. Um, it's really, a, to kind of describe how bad it is, if you uh, really wanted to try to sort an array with a computer using BOGO sort, it could potentially take uh, sorting an array of eight elements up to 10 minutes to half an hour uh, just by randomly sorting it and then seeing if it gets lucky. So this is not a very good sorting algorithm. It's not predictable. Sometimes it'll get done right away if you get really lucky but most of the time it takes a really long time. So my recommendation is do not use this technique, but make fun of it at any chance you get.